Okay. I've decided to do a kind of boxing journal. So every time I have a um, reflection or, you know, revelatory moment in my training, I want to put it on here. And I think I'll call it boxing journal or boxing insights or boxing diaries. But today, while I was pu um, pushing myself on the punch bag, I realized that distance is important in terms of, in terms of actually getting power into your punches and it just makes sense you don't throw punches up in close all the time and if you are it's going to be hooks uppercuts and lots of head movements so start from a distance the heavy punch bag is always fun and it definitely has its purpose um, at the same time if the punch if the heavy punch bag is not available use the lighter punch bags and and do different things you know what i mean and don't neglect using the light the the light the 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 light the light bag the light punch bag you know because when you're um punching the light heavy bag the the light bag it moves and you follow that movement See you later, master. so do you know what i mean so like you punch it and it moves a lot more than the heavy punch bag but then you follow that movement and you punch it again so that's training your mind to stay focused on your target which is your opponent and also to, to track movements better you know because when you punch it you know where it's going to move if i throw a left hook on the light bag it's going to go that way so then i can move and go around and meet the bag and punch it some more do you know what i mean so that's training my reflex times and my reaction times um also it's, it can be quite difficult to punch uh, to, to to push yourself when you're in the punch bag and I say, like, try and give yourself targets. Like today, my target was one punch, and then two punches, three punches, four punches, do some jabs, and then restart. Do you know what I mean? And that really helped me instead of like wondering what to do and then just being really, really tired. Um, and another thing I find while I was doing pad work with one of the coaches is keep eye contact with your opponent all the time. And even when you're throwing pads, you keep eye contact with the pad man. And, you know, and while you're doing that, you actually see everything. You see your opponent's facial expressions. You see your, your, your opponent's hands, where they're going to do. You see your opponent's legs and, and their knees. So you, you, can, you can track their movements a lot better. Um, and also, there's always a little bit more that you can do. So just keep pushing yourself that little bit more and grow stronger.